After returning to WWE last Friday night on SmackDown, Lars Sullivan is making negative headlines once again for yet another controversy involving the WWE superstar. This time, Sullivan has been accused of harassing a woman on Instagram, behaving inappropriately and asking for inappropriate pictures. Now, this was first reported by Body Slam's Andy Wade. He exclusively reported the news. Now, as I mentioned, Lars Sullivan returned to WWE during Friday night's episode of SmackDown on Fox. Of course, it was the draft episode, night one. The Freak made a shocking appearance. He attacked Jeff Hardy and Matt Riddle after a very long hiatus with the company. The last we heard of any sort from Lars Sullivan, he was in yet another controversy after fans had discovered he had uh, been involved in same-sex adult material in the past. And this news had come out after Sullivan was also found to have made many inappropriate racist and homophobic remarks on bodybuilding forums in the past. Now, once again, as I mentioned, Sullivan is once again in hot water, this time for inappropriate behavior online. Now, a Reddit thread appeared over the weekend showing screenshots of a conversation between Lars Sullivan and the account Yoga for the Athlete, which is an Instagram account dedicated to yoga services. Now, Sullivan can be seen in screenshots released sending inappropriate messages asking for, quote, booty pics, end quote, to which the lady, Anika, had declined. But basically, you can see that Sullivan is being very, I would say, intimidating, very creepy. And it got to the point where the Instagram user said, quote, hey, Lars, I'm going to refund your money. I told you before I block people who send me messages like this. So you've kind of had a warning. I don't have time to work with clients who don't respect boundaries. I'm a happily married woman. It's also not very smart on your part, given you're quite well known. Now, after this, after these screenshots appeared on Reddit, as I mentioned, Body Slam's Anthony Wade reached out to Anika for a further comment to check the validity of these. These can be very easily misconstrued or fabricated so he reached out to check the validity and she was quick to confirm that the messages were indeed legitimate and even sent over further images of comments made by Sullivan in the recent months this isn't a long time ago by any stretch of the imagination this has been in the recent months now she mentioned that she was happily to be named she said essentially that Lars Sullivan had been friendly for about a year or so and the inappropriate comments only started recently from the WWE superstar. She mentioned as a professional who is good at what she does, she felt a bit sad that men felt that she could that they could send messages like this over to her. She found it also very insulting. So some of these um, screenshots that were sent over by the first inappropriate comment was about um, something called a, a, a booty program. And then at last Sullivan says that he'd definitely heed her advice on a booty sculpting program. And uh, then she says, you know, what's, what he says, what's the price of this? She tells him the price and she asks, are you going to send this out to your female following? And then he says that he'd pay double than the price for the program for, for inappropriate pictures. It's just... It's inappropriate. It's incredibly inappropriate. He talks about being totally enamored with her profile and talks about the stuff that she's wearing. And it's just, yeah, it's creepy. It's creepy and it's not right. She said that she gave him the benefit of the doubt and he was friendly, but a line was crossed. And this is just the latest of another controversy that Lars Sullivan has been involved in. As I mentioned, since moving to the main roster, Lars Sullivan has been the subject of controversy after controversy in WWE. Now, it emerged in May 2019 that the WWE superstar had made multiple homophobic, misogynistic, and racist posts on a bodybuilding forum before he had signed with the company. Sullivan was subsequently fined $100,000 and apologized for his comments. Now, the stuff about the uh, adult entertainment, the same-sex uh, past stuff in his past, you know, I don't think it's right to criticize that because essentially when it comes to that, look, there was nothing illegal or offensive with what he did uh, when it comes to those um, adult videos. So I'm not going to mock him or shame him because of that. I don't think that's fair at all. I do think it's interesting that you have WWE signing female talent with the clause of no nude photos in the past, no pornography or anything like that, and yet they employ someone like Lars Sullivan. Now, you could argue with that that WWE obviously wasn't aware at the time. Who knows? Is the fact that Lars Sullivan was in adult entertainment in the past a fireable offense? No, no. 
but you could argue that possibly not disclosing that he had been in that form of videos, not disclosing that to WWE, that could have been a fireable offence, but obviously the company decided against that. However, that controversy came after the comments that were made by Sullivan in the bodybuilding forum in the past before he was signed with WWE. Now, if you haven't seen them, we're not going to obviously post them on this video. They're out there. They're not hard to find. And quite frankly, they're disgusting. They're horrific. Now, obviously, he was punished for them. He was fined $100,000 and subsequently, by all accounts, he went to counseling and also was possibly suspended too. But to be honest... If you've read them, in my opinion, he was very, very, very lucky to keep his job. And once again, he obviously didn't disclose them to WWE at the time in which he was signed. That's the the rumor when it comes to that one. Now, of course, eventually he did disclose to WWE that he did make those comments. And this goes back to around the time that he made his main roster debut. Because there were rumors that he was scheduled to attack and, j and take out John Cena right before the 2019 Royal Rumble. Do you remember all of that? He had been on, or he'd been, uh, vignettes had been on TV, and then there was rumors he was going to take out John Cena. It didn't happen. Drew McIntyre took him out or attacked him a couple of weeks prior. And then John Cena wasn't in the Royal Rumble, even though he'd been advertised. It was a very confusing situation at the time. So by all accounts, the reported plan was Lars Sullivan was going to attack John Cena on Raw before the Royal Rumble, taking the 16-time world champion out of the Royal Rumble match, and then possibly even work a match with John Cena at WrestleMania 35 in New Jersey. But of course, that didn't happen. Now, there were reports at the time that he had suffered a panic attack or some form of anxiety, which we believe was related to the disclosing of the past comments that he made on those bodybuilding forums. And then he was subsequently suspended, went to counseling, fined $100,000. Who knows? That whole situation was very, very murky, in my opinion. But in the grand scheme of things here, you have a pattern here of Lars Sullivan not disclosing major issues from his past to the WWE when he was signed. So arguably, you could say he's already had two strikes. And then you have this harassment of a woman on Instagram, because that's what it is. That's what it is. It's harassment. Now, I know the defense of these things by certain people out there will be, wow, screenshots can be deceiving. But the screenshots here are very compelling. And can we stop with this, oh, she might have egged him on or or she didn't have to respond. She could have just ghosted him or she could have just left it be. And my response to that is get your mind out of the 1980s and see it for what it is. It's harassment. She didn't ask for this. She's running a yoga program. She's running a business. She's trying to make herself some money online. And then some famous guy is trying to get compromising pictures of a married woman. It's intimidating. And her being nice to him is her way of trying to get him to leave her alone and try and defuse the situation here. And she was up front with him too. She said boundaries were crossed. She even refunded him his money because she didn't want to take any part of it. She didn't want any part of his money. She didn't want any part of him. It's not okay. It's, it's not okay at all. And you would think with all of the controversy that Lars Sullivan has had during his short time with WWE, he would try and lay low and not get into trouble. But yet again, and as she mentioned, these comments have been in recent months. This isn't a historical thing like the previous two incidents were. They were historical. This isn't historical. So to me, there's just a pattern of behavior here, unfortunately. Whether it's his comments in the past or not disclosing controversies to WWE, it's just not acceptable. And you wonder how many more chances he's going to get. Yes, Lars Sullivan, he has a unique look and he could be a great monster heel in WWE. But is all of this really worth it? To me, the answer is obviously no. It's obviously no. And the argument of, well, people can change and people can grow and those comments were in the past. Well, my response to that is, has Lars Sullivan actually changed or learned from his past mistakes? Because this latest controversy would appear that he has not. You have movements going on this year, such as hashtag speaking out. You currently have a lawsuit pending, or we don't know if it's officially been filed yet, against Matt Riddle and the WWE. WWE has even released superstars this year, and rightfully so, that were involved in the speaking out movement. And yet this guy is still under contract. It's not a good look for WWE. It really isn't a good look for WWE. And on top of that, in 2020, you have to factor in the amount of superstars, employees, agents, producers office staff, etc. that all lost their jobs this year due to the pandemic and this guy is still under contract. What kind of message does that send? 
if I'm one of those people that did get fired, I'm sitting at home going, so just because this guy's big, he can get away with this? So we'll have to wait and see what WWE's response is to this. And I know some people, again, the response to this will be, well, what a coincidence. This has just come out as he's returned on SmackDown. Well, yeah. Yeah, most likely because the people involved in this saw this guy returning on a network television program on Fox in a featured spot and said, wait a minute, this guy's getting paid, this guy's getting pushed, and he's harassing women online? How is that right? How is that fair? There needs to be some form of justice here. And that's why these screenshots got leaked on Reddit, and this is why the story's blown up as it is, was, as it is now, because it's unacceptable. It, frankly, it's unacceptable. So we've yet to hear what WWE will do. I think Body Slam did reach out for a comment. We haven't had a comment yet from WWE when it comes to this, so we'll have to wait and see. But I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised in all honesty if they just cut their losses here. Because like I said, these are three separate incidents now. Obviously, each each situation has been different. As I mentioned, the, the past stuff with the same-sex pornography, for me, you know, you can't... The issue there is that he didn't disclose it to the WWE. The The issue isn't that he did it. The issue is that he didn't disclose it to the WWE. The bodybuilding forum comments to me were disgusting. They were horrific. And I felt he was very, very lucky to keep his job anyway. He kept his job basically on the technicality of people can grow and people can learn. But again, these, these recent comments to this Instagram user would prove that he hasn't grown and he hasn't learned. He, ha he hasn't learned from his past mistakes, obviously, if he thinks this kind of behavior is acceptable in general, let alone from a public figure, a famous celebrity and part of a publicly traded company whose product is PG. How is that acceptable? It isn't acceptable. So as I mentioned, we'll have to wait and see what WWE will do with this one. I would be shocked if they didn't take some form of action, but we'll have to wait and see. But of course, as always, this is just one man's opinion. What are your thoughts on Lars Sullivan's latest controversy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll be sure to respond and reply to all of your comments. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on the like button as well. Really does help us out here on YouTube, go up the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously. But most importantly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Wrestle News 365. You can do that by clicking the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now. Or if you wait a few seconds, there will be a subscribe button at the end of this video, along with another video for you to watch. We're closing in on 1000 subscribers. I think we're nearly about 30 subscribers away from 1000 so if you haven't already please do subscribe if you have subscribed already just know that i really do appreciate it thank you very much for watching listening streaming or however you come across this video today and i'll speak for you again very very soon hey guys thank you for watching listening streaming or however you come across this video today be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video or click the bottom there to subscribe or the bottom right hand corner thank you very much and i'll speak to you again very soon